What's going on everybody? It's Super Robot and today we have in front of you the next Transformers Bumblebee figure that I bought. That was Studio Series Wheeljack number 81. And I actually really do like this figure a lot. You know, although I think I broke something. I'm not sure. This looks like I broke something, but it probably didn't. All right, enough rant. The gun, I'm gonna talk about the gun first. I, I gotta get this out the way because the gun fits on the back. See that little peg right there? And I think you could put it here. That's how you get the gun on. I don't know if you could put it on this side. I, don't, I could not get it to fit. So that like it only fits one side. Boom, that's it. But this car mode is fantastic. This does not look like a Cybertronian car. This is like a race car. And I had to push that down. But yeah, this, this, this right here, the vehicle mode on this thing is absolutely positively. Oh, I love this thing, man. I, I fell in love when I saw it and I still like it. And we're gonna talk about the box for a minute. It's the box. There's some instructions in the box because all Transformers do come in the box unless it's G1 or vintage. If you're buying it from the store, brand new. The instructions are in here somewhere so I can show you guys. Here's the instructions. Oh, here's instructions. Yeah, I don't need, I don't use instructions. Yeah. There you go, this instructions. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah you see all that. I'm, you know, and I'm like, everybody, like, why are you rushing that? go outside tonight I'm trying to party tonight so you know I'm hurry up man I have things to do I'm not a nerd I just play with toys I do go out and on the back you get to see his 31 steps a lot of intricate steps and he has a little display it's just, it's pretty essentially the same display because they all come from that same one scene so I'm not really gonna pull this out of the box because I really don't feel like going through all that so it's the box see it all right now we're gonna do some quick measurements with the ruler of power Yes, this is the ruler of power. This is the stainless steel ruler by Westcott. No promotion, just saying where it makes it. All right, so this figure is about four inches and not counting the gun, he is about an inch, almost an inch and a half, not quite there. All right, this car rolls like a champ. This is one of the, I'm so pleased with this vehicle and how it looks. It looks like a race, like a futuristic race car. This does not look like something from this. Oh man. They got to implement this vehicle mode in, in, somehow, some way. I want to go over the details. The details on this, it, it just, oh man. I am, I, it, yeah, this is my favorite. I mean, look at that. This is clean. It's clean. You can't tell this is a transformer. All right. So. You want a comparison? I know some of y'all want to see that. We're gonna compare it to the other wheeljack. And oddly enough, they got the same color. Now this wheeljack has a few upgrades, third party, spoiler, things like that. Um, you know, again, these vehicle modes are quite tiny compared to the Earthrise or Earth style, if you want to call it. They're, you know, they're just smaller. But they roll. <laughs> These things don't roll. This rolls. Now, I know some of y'all love to hear negative reviews. And I know a lot of y'all watch a certain channel that kind of has like a fast talking motif. Their other channels don't do well because <laughs> it just. So, of course, you know, they're basically doing a sped up channel. And I saw in their review, they said that this is the wheeljack we should have gotten. This. Bruh, let me be frank. This is comparing apples to oranges even though they are the same character this character a version is not in line with this version because of the fact that they're two separate movies there's two separate universes yes hasbro did a funky job on this i will admit that i will agree 100 percent but is this figure trash no <laughs> this is just a different aesthetic this one is better but it's not better for what you're trying to do so let's get that out of the way i just know that a lot of people love negative reviews so we're gonna move him out of the way we're gonna bring him back later when he goes to robot mode and then now we're gonna go ahead and go into transformation we'll be back in two and two to get ready for preparation all right we're back by youtube magic sorry y'all couldn't do this transformation on screen it was bad <laughs> but anyway we're gonna go over articulation and first things first the leg goes out to here up there you can do like a foot stomp leg goes back to here pretty good articulation in the legs he does have feet swivel um 
little difficult to show, but it's there. You know, it's there. Again, it's there. It's just weird. I don't know why. It's just very hard to get the feet swiveled. The arm will go back 360. It's all on a, a, a ball joint. He has a double elbow due to transformation. So you can see that there. Um, these wings are on the arms. So, you know, you can position them however you want. And the head, you know, doesn't really look up and down, but it does go side to side. And he kind of looks like a mechanical Yoda. Let's take a good look at that. He does, like a mechanical Yoda. All right. And we're going to do a measurement. And I'm going to talk about the good and the bad that I had with this figure. I did also have an issue with that. And he is four and a half inches. Four and a half inches. Here he is compared to Earthwise Wheeljack with some third party upgrades. And Wheeljack's small and he is smaller. Which one do I like? I actually like this one. This looks more, this doesn't look like a transform. It's like something. I don't know if you ever heard of a show called Galveon. That's why I think I like this so much. It kind of reminds me of that. Lonely Chaser. If you know familiar with Galveon, the Galveon toys were in the Converters line. So they were, I forgot what they were called in Converters line. I think they did use Galve the, the name Galveon. I'm pretty sure they did. I can't remember. But if you had the white car, you had like six wheels. And it had like F1 on it. And you knew about the Converters. That's from an actual Japanese line called Galveon. Um, and that's what he kind of reminds me of, even in the robot mode. It's like they borrowed from Galveon. And I like that. And I do like that. I mean, I wish he was like a different color with a different head. He could be like a different character or something, you know. And even with the little wings on the arms, it's a lot like Galveon. But I'm still partial to G1 Wheeljack because G1 Wheeljack is my dude. And this looks more like the engineer scientist that comes out, you know, he shoots that cannon. This is third party upgrades, all of the this part. And I painted that with chrome. Uh, the shoulder cannon and the gun. I forgot which kit it is. I had two kits at one point. Uh, I can't remember which one this is, but, um, you know, but as you can see here, he's substantially larger. And I, I want to, again, point out from that same video that like disparaging is this is not a bad figure. It, by all means, this is a transformation. It's kind of wonky because of those parts right there, but I have third party parts to keep that in place. Other than that, though, Wheeljacks, <laughs> Earthrise Wheeljacks is actually much better than we expected, but it's not about him. It's about Studio Series Wheeljack, and I think this this figure is nice. It deserves, I don't know, it just deserves more. Now, I'm just going to move him out the way because there's not really much else to compare him to. I don't have a lot of these figures, so let's talk. Out of the gate, the legs were loose, and I had to, again, use my uh, uh, use my Gorilla Glue, Clear Gorilla, gorilla Glue to gum these up. They were just loose. I, I don't understand what they were doing with the ball joints on these. It's not good. But, oh yeah, I forgot. He does have a waist swivel too. Keep forgetting he does have a waist swivel. Yes, and I think it goes. No, I can't go all the way around, but it goes enough. You know, he's got a waist swivel. Um, this is how he looks from the back. I mean, you know, it's clean. It's just, this is very good engineering. It'll, it'll fuddle you a bit, but it's very good engineering overall. But again, I only bought this figure because I like the vehicle mode. Other than that, I'm again, I'm not a fan of the bone. I mean, I love the bone booby. I'm just the aesthetic. Like I'll never pick up Soundwave. Like I, and I got a video talking about that as well. We'll get into that later. But I'm never going to pick up Soundwave ever. I don't want that thing. I don't care how much y'all go crazy over that one scene. That toy, it doesn't have an alt mode. That just, I, I don't want to spend money on that. I don't even want to review it, so I'm not going to buy it. I'm not even worried about it. If it goes up to $2 million, oh, well, I just miss out. But I like this figure. I like this one. I like it for what it does. It is not better than Earthrise. You can't replace this in Earthrise. You could, but it's just not. The aesthetic is not the same, and it's too. It's way too small for that. But if you're looking to pick this up because you like the movie, this one right here is a treat. I'm telling you, this one is a treat. So, yeah, I like them. In your opinion, you may or may not like them, but overall, you probably will like them. So, yeah, uh, pick them up. I mean, just pick them up. If you really want them, just pick them up. If not, leave them on the shelf with somebody else to pick up, okay? And we'll leave it at that. I always leave it up to the uh, viewer to make a decision on the figure they want. I'm just here to review it, not here to sway you on both of the buy it or not. Um, like I said, besides those looseness in the ball joints, which, like I say, is an easy fix, the rest of this figure is fantastic. So, go out and get them. Again, 
Nigga Super Robot Ed. We'll see you soon with more reviews. We have some more coming on. Bye. Until then, have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.